Eighteenth, we have paid wages. So wages is would be expense, nominal account. So using the principle of nominal account or rule, we debit wages because wages is expense for us. So we say wages account debit. Paid means cash naturally is going out, cash being real. And applying the rule of real account, we are crediting cash because it is going out in this case. And the amount being five thousand, your narration would be being wages paid. Being wages paid. Now next transaction is interest received through check. Interest received through check. So on twenty first, we said interest is a periodical expense. Or periodical income. So when we say interest received, it is income for us. So when it is income, the nominal account says that we have to credit interest here, and we are receiving how through check means we are getting a check which we deposit later into bank, and bank will transfer that amount into your account. So here the accounts involved are bank and interest, bank and interest. now we already discussed interest is income for us being nominal account we have to credit interest account and bank is a personal account ultimately it is bank which is going to collect this money and put in our account as interest so bank would be the receiver initially so therefore we are debiting the bank based on personal account rule so bank account debit to interest account and the amount being 5000 your narration would be being interest received through check being interest received through check now the last transaction is on 25th which is nothing but advertisement expenses which is nothing but advertisement expenses naturally being expense we would have paid in cash so recalling the rule of nominal for advertisement we will write it as advertisement expenses which we will debit because expenses have to be debited now to we as we paid cash cash is real account and it is going out so credit what goes out we are applying and the amount is 3000 the amount is 3000 narration would be being advertisement expenses paid being advertisement expenses paid